New at five, a shoreline community cracks down on crime and one illegal activity in particular after police receive several complaints. News 8's Tina Detail has that story from New London. The reverend at this church says that he has had to put these no loitering signs on the door and around the church because people have been hanging out on the stoop, drinking and doing other things. But the activities go beyond that. He says some of the women also flag down cars promoting prostitution. A quality of life police are hoping to improve on Black Hall and Truman Streets. I've seen a lot of different people in the neighborhood. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot of different persons I've never seen before, but I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Others, though, say they know what's going on. It's been nonstop and, you know, you got guys drive by and just because you're walking down the street being a female, they think you're a prostitute. The acting police chief has seen it too. Women waving him over as he drives through the New London neighborhood in an unmarked car right in the middle of the day. Police performed an undercover sting operation and arrested five women for selling sex which often goes hand in hand with drugs. We've had reports of one of the locations where the prostitutes were living as a uh, known drug house. The women were from Plainfield, Gales Ferry, East Lyme and New London, but they were all picked up in this one neighborhood where getting flagged down by a prostitute has become more common in the past month. Undercover cops pose as Johns to put a stop to it. Let's pull over and can't go into more detail what took place because the cases are still pending and it's part of it is uh, law enforcement sensitive. Police say this is phase one and they'll continue to crack down on the prostitution problem. As far as those undercover operations, they say they may also target the Johns. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.